The following was recorded in front of a live studio audience at the Studio 21 Podcast Cafe. This is the United Podcast Network. Welcome to Dueling Comedians, where two comedians clash to see whose comedy kills and who gets killed. Figuratively speaking, of course. All this to determine who claims the coveted Dueling Comedians trophy. This is Dueling Comedians. That fuzzy, disturbing sound you hear in your head right now is me, Tony V. And you are listening to Dueling Comedians as you do dutifully every week. Our numbers are through the roof. Through the roof. Through the roof, Larry. This is my sidekick, good friend, and the glue that holds this podcast together, Laugh Track Larry. How are you this week, Larry? I am so great. And, you know, that intro music, boy, does that get me it fired gets you, up. Yeah, it makes you feel fun down in your, in your nether region. My loins. Yeah, <laughs> down, down below, as yeah, they say. fire down yeah, below. Well, yeah, I always thought they were talking about Australia. No. But I guess I was wrong. That that happens periodically. And you're listening to uh, Dueling Comedians. We went over that. You found us, so I don't have to tell you how to find us. And I have two fine comedians with me again this week. Uh, I, the, the well never seems to run dry with good people. I'm going to start with Kristen uh, O'Brien, because we know each other. We've worked together. Things yes, we are have. Good to well. see you, Tony. Nice to see you. You look great. Thank you very much, as do you. Oh, thank you. And that I, I don't know if I'm allowed to say that to women these days. I know. It's but you started time. It. Right, but yeah, you started good. it. It's all good. And and note that I'm I there's a there's a big gap. Adequate but, space. space. Yes. Yeah. Hash, Arms length. Hashtag she started it. She started it. <laughs> that's that's gonna be our a movement. New movement. Yeah. That'll yes. be our new movement. That's okay. I, right. Ground zero right, right. here. All right, that's beautiful. And uh, Jay Martin, correct? Yep. Now, we don't know each other at all. Uh, Do nope. we? I, I, th- I don't think I've officially met you, but are you in the Comedy Softball League? I certainly am. Uh, they signed me up for that uh, this year. Yeah. And uh, I think I saw you. We played. What team are you on? I'm on uh, Anderson. Okay, I'm on Comedy Studio. Oh, okay. Yep. So uh, Probably in our uniforms, we look different. Yeah, a little bit different. Yeah. Oh, you guys won. Oh, yeah, we did. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we went to the Chelsea Yacht Club for the end of the year celebration. We got yes. some trophies. Yeah, nice. Uh, What'd good. you get? I got Anything? Rookie of the Year. Nice. But I think they just gave that to me because at the bottom it says pending dues paid, and I owed them like 80 bucks. Uh, so I think they gave that to me so, so I would pay them. Dues, yeah. yeah. But My son Gus and I got best uh, father and son oh, in nice. the league. You were the only one. We were the only one. <laughs> really. Right. Right. They used to be the Januarios, but that no longer. So uh, Gus and I won. Uh, fa- best father in Did Artie's kid stop being funny? No, he just uh, He moved to Texas That's a funny yeah. place That's the same yeah. thing as stopping being funny Yeah and, and and Jay, how long have you been doing stand-up And where, you know, where? Uh, pretty consistently for about a year right. uh, And I, uh, I'm doing a lot of open mics I'm doing, I think, 7.30 Tavern And then McGreevy's coming up And I got to do uh, Nick's this summer with Jonathan Tilson Oh, nice Really fun Yeah, 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 yeah. Really yeah, yeah. So. You know, Nick's is one of the longest-running comedy clubs in the nation I think only Oh, really? Spot. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it's been it's been running since the 80s Yeah, that really old yeah. guy, Don Gavin, had something Yeah, he started it He started it back then I think Nick's in... in uh, Zanies in Chicago, if you ever get there, n- nice place. And uh, Kristen, where do you are you working uh, regularly? How do you, how do you, how do you run your your you business? Know, I would like to be working more, Tony, but I haven't been chasing it as as much as I should be. That's when the work comes. To I you. know. Yeah. Um, I will be doing a spot down at the Luna Theater for Greg Bogus. Oh yeah, that's a great space. It is a great theater. It's in uh, uh, Lowell, in Massachusetts. Lowell. Yep, in the restored mill. Yeah, there's an. <laughs> When you go into the Luna, it looks like you're going to get whacked. <laughs> it looks like you walk down this sort of dark, empty street. Oh. Then you go down an alley, and then yeah. you, there's a gate. It says five on it. And then you got to go into this, like, dimly lit elevator area. Take a friend. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> That's, uh, if you need help, it's, a, it's on a Monday night. If you'd like me to wait for you, you know. Uh, 
Uh, all right. Uh, well, or somebody. It doesn't I, have to be me. I, I feel like the people you're afraid of might just be just like regular hipsters now. Uh, yeah. uh, it used to be a uh, tough area, but no yeah. no must. Uh, listen, I have no use for hipsters since they stole my hat. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. I was worn, wearing the pork pie hat. Oh, they took it? And they took it. They oh, just man. blatantly took my They're taking everything. I've been doing it for years. Like, my clothes went from being ironic to just old guy Italian clothes. It happens. It's okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? When when your clothes lose their irony, it's time to, it's time to, did you, you ever, know. Did you ever roll up the pants at the bottom? No. That's the one never, thing I won't no. buy into. Everyone's yeah. rolling their, all my what, buddies. Is that the new thing? They're rolling their pants above their ankle. I don't know if it's like to show off your shoes or your or your socks, socks or what. I'm like, I don't, I I don't want to be, I don't want to do it. I know tapered and Good for you. showing Thanks. the socks are, a, are a new thing. Yeah. It seems like it is. Yeah, they're people. doing the, they, I don't actually really know the technique, but it yeah. seems pretty complicated. <laughs> I'm not doing it. Your- well, they do it in a different way where they stay up. Because I did one time in my room without anyone around. Yeah. Try it. came right down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't know how to do it. Well, I don't know what it is with urban uh, young people wanting to look like, you know, they're, they're walking through a shit-covered field in Kentucky. <laughs> you know, they're growing beards, yeah. rolling up their thing, wearing boots. Go, they need some how com- you doing? Yeah, they need some comfortable shoes. <laughs> yeah, walk yeah. in the city. Yeah, so. that's what you need. I got the, uh, I've taken to wearing the Birkenstocks. Oh, I yeah. like them. Yeah, nice. they're very comfortable. Very, very comfortable. You know, they, you got to be comfortable in your own skin. Because I have people go, nice shoes. And I go, thanks. And I don't think they mean it actually. I've run into a little bit of trouble recently uh, wearing shorts on stage, which as a newer guy, didn't know that was a no-no. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Listen, can I just say this? And I don't tell anyone how to live. <laughs> that is, that, that's the one thing that I don't, I'm not a close horse. Yeah. As it were, you mm-hmm. know, but I always believe that the, the audience deserves pants and shoes. Okay. That, that's, I like that. that's where I draw the line. I don't care what kind of pants, what kind of shoes. Yeah. Just pants and shoes. Definitely a learning curve. Yeah. yeah. Well, you just don't want the distraction, right? You don't want people thinking about anything Any, other than what you're right, saying. Right. Not yeah. like, why are those gross toes? <laughs> you don't want that. Right, right. In right. fairness, some of the open mics I do, I'm the only one there, so it's not horrible. <laughs> <for me> to... <laughs> it's, it took you a while to catch on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, can, I can understand that. Yeah. My, my thing is uh, people go... Hey, does he know he has varicose veins? <laughs> and I, I didn't even know what they are, you know, but I was golfing one time and my buddy Artie goes, you know, you got varicose veins? I go, no, why, why would I know that? He goes, I said, where? And he goes, you know, on the back of your calves. And I go, why would I look back there? Well, this is a good thing about having a doctor, you know, as, as, a, as a colleague <laughs> yeah, looking I, out for you. I guess. And then, but this was the best part about it. I go, what do you do about him? He goes, nothing. <laughs> I, just want you know, I just want to know you right, have them. Right. So I go, why bring it up? <laughs> right. Yeah, I can't do anything about them. They're just, they, I don't see them. Leave me be. I think he was just trying to get in my head. We were golfing. You know? It could have been, yeah. yeah. How'd you score? How'd you, how'd you do? How'd you play? Uh, you know, I rose to the challenge. I did all right. All yeah. right. I'm okay. not a guy. So you didn't let him in? No, I'm not a big golf. I don't let you like golf. It's not a thing I do. I, I do charity events and, mm-hmm. and, uh, the like when you play scramble, so you're always playing a good ball. If I yeah. had to play my own ball, it'd be ridiculous. Do you do sports at all? Do you have any sports? Uh, does napping count? Napping is a yeah. I think it's up. Not this. Year, not two years from now, but two years after that, Olympics. Oh wow! Yeah, because the home country gets to uh, to pick a sport. Uh huh. And uh, I believe uh, it's the Netherlands. And uh, huge nappers. Nice. Yeah. I bet they're happy people. Yeah, they, uh, listen, nobody gets hurt when you're napping. That's, that, that's the bottom That's what line. my family says. Yeah, I'll leave her alone. She's, she's napping. napping. And I let a sleeping dog lie. Yeah. You, you're yeah. not. You don't poke don't, the bear. Don't poke the I, bear. I love a good nap. You, you enjoy that, do you? I just have one. Did you have one? Yeah. It was because of the show? Did we put you yeah, out? Yeah, it was a power nap. It was a, how long? Uh, 67 seconds. <laughs> that is... That's approximately. Approximately. Minute seven. That's good. Yeah. Jay, you're too young. You don't nap yet, do you? I don't, but you said... What did you say? Someone... No one gets hurt napping? Not Yeah. So my girlfriend works nights, uh, and the other day... She works at Mass General, and the other day I was sleeping in the same bed as her, and she had... She was kind of catching up on sleep, and she just sat up, and I said, hey, what's going on? She was not awake. I wasn't aware of that, and then I woke her up. She said, what's going on? I said, I don't know. You're the one sitting up sleeping. And then oh, that happened no. three more times. And by the end of it, I was like, I might just, I'm going to do the couch. Yeah, but see, the damage wasn't in the sleeping. It was in the waking her up. That's true. That, yeah. yeah. I should have let it, but I didn't know yeah. where that was leading. We got some I, stairs. 
yeah. <laughs> Wait, I I don't know. If my wife was sitting up straight in bed sleeping, I I think I. I'd Scary. Probably just it's leave. like a possession. Yeah, I'd probably just leave her be. <laughs> you know, I'd get my phone. I go, oh, others got to see this. Well, by, t- yeah. by time number three, because I had done the frantic wake up twice, right. by time number three, I had the heavy pillow and I kind of just guided her back down. Oh, I was that, like, let's just figure go. this out later. It'd be great if, <laughs> if when you tipped her, her legs just stayed down. That would, right? Oh, yeah. yeah that Sitting up laying <laughs> down. Yeah, going down yeah. <laughs> Quickly tell people how you can uh, get a hold of each other. At Auntie Kristen OB on Twitter. Or yeah. Facebook. Oh, Auntie Kristen and OB, yeah. Uh, at Jmart and 1000, probably on Instagram is the easiest way. Okay, we're going to sit right here. It's going to look like we went away. But when you come back, it'll be just us. Attention cigar smokers, or even friends of a cigar smoker. If you're looking to relax with a nice premium cigar or looking for a great gift for a cigar smoker, this is the gift that keeps on giving. Our friends at TwoGuysCigars.com have created the Cigar of the Month Club. For just $24.99 per month, you or your friend will receive four different premium handmade cigars every month. And shipping and handling is included. Go to TwoGuysCigars.com. That's the number two, GuysCigars.com, and go to the Cigar of the Month Club. You can stop anytime because there's no contract. But you won't because this is a tremendous deal for our listeners. Go to twoguyscigars.com. That's the number two, guyscigars.com, and click the Cigar of the Month Club. At the same time, if you want to learn about the cigars you receive each month, you can smoke along with them on their own podcast called The Cigar Authority. Sit back, relax, and enjoy a nice premium cigar from our friends at twoguyscigars.com. Dueling Comedians is uh, still here. I told you I didn't lie to the people, right? No, not at all. You never lie. No, I don't. I pride myself on that. If you were listening to uh, our commercial there for two guys, uh, which is where we do the podcast, that was our old pal, uh, Greg Bogus, doing that read. And uh, I don't mean this in any way except complimentary. He could do phone sex with that voice. (laughs) Yes, that, it's that, smooth you know, like I, butter. Yeah, I yep. you know I'm not so inclined that way, but that that he, he got me. You know, yeah. if I had a fan, I'd be fanning myself <laughs> right now. The vapors. Larry, did do, do anything for you? No. Okay. <laughs> it's always count on Larry to, to chime in. So again, that was quick. How do how people get a hold of you? Uh, uh, Jay? Jay Martin one thousand on Instagram. Yep. At Auntie Kristen Ob on Twitter. Great. And uh, how have you been well, finding? Well, Jay? Yeah. Point of clarification. Go ahead, please. When you say J. Martin, mm-hmm. it's not just the letter oh, J. Oh, J. A. Y. Martin. Yeah, sorry. see, people ah. could be confused. Oh, yeah. Right away, I said, oh, my gosh. Sure. I'm confused. It's, it's sure. <laughs> you, don't want, you don't want the guy with the, just the J. Martin getting the tirade oh. of filth no, you that you're going to get that's generated from this show. All yeah. the gigs. All the gigs will yep. be going to him. I mean, what if... J, just the letter. Just the letter is J. It's funnier than J A Y Martin yeah. 1000. I, I don't think so. Because okay. he would have had the whole name. That's true. But it could have been John. It could have been James. Could be anybody, yeah. Jerry. Jesus. You know, Jesus. <laughs> Je- I, I, although I believe it's pronounced Jesus now. Depends on where you're from. I guess so. So, anyway, but I guess uh, I, maybe that was it. Maybe that's the when people used to say Jesus H. Christ. Maybe the H was for Jesus. Harry. Harry? That's his middle name. I'm pretty right. sure. I read the scriptures. This is why people tune in to Dueling Comedians. We tackle the tough religious problems in the world. Excellent. And political. So uh, just uh, uh, quickly, Jake, any gigs coming up? Uh, 730 Tavern. I got to double check the date. I'll put it on Instagram. And then um, I'm going to do McGreevy's. I think not till December, though. So And Kristen? Uh, the Luna Theater. Uh, Great believe, venue, by the yep, way. Yep. I believe that's October 15th. Beautiful. All right. And. Okay. This means the duel's on. You understand how it works? I'm going to hit a button. Uh, not any button. You know okay. what I mean? I don't, wanna, I don't want people crossing the street. I'm going to hit this button in front of me. I think if they don't get it right, they're kind of dumb. You because, think they're dumb? Well, they just watched one. Oh, okay. That's where true. the people That's true. didn't seem to yeah, know but how I haven't it worked. To- I haven't told them who's going to start first. Oh, my gosh. Why don't you pick, Larry? I think the ladies always start first. All right, ladies first. Okay. I'm hitting this button, and you're going to tell a joke. 
Tony, uh, my husband, he's a, he's a hunter. No, I don't, we don't, I don't mind that he hunts because we eat, we eat everything that he kills. But what I mind is that the remains find their way back into my home as part of the furnishings. <laughs> oh. My house looks like it was. I thought you were done. Okay, finish. Go ahead. My house looks like it was decorated by a tribe of gay Apache. <laughs> Tony, don't hit that button again. Uh, not going to touch it. <laughs> They're not laughing at you. They're laughing with, with you. Uh, always. Jay, uh, you're up. You're up. Uh, I've been with my girlfriend, who I mentioned earlier, for a few years. Uh, and we've been together so long that she asked me for a list of my sexual fantasies to spice things up in the bedroom. Uh, and I only have one, and it's that I want to wear a cape when we have sex. Uh, but she always wants to be on top, so it really just looks like I'm laying on a blanket. <laughs> <laughs> Tony, I feel out of sync. That we're fine. That uh, was right. That was right. Yeah. Yeah. All right, good. I mentioned that I like napping. You right did. Home. My husband came home the other day, and I hadn't even gotten dressed. Five o'clock. I'm still on the couch. He said, Kristen, do you think you could get your fat ass up off of the couch and into the truck so we can get something to eat? I said, I beg your pardon? No, I don't think I could get my fat ass up into the truck so we could get something to eat. He said, you're right, honey. I'm sorry. We'll take the car. (laughs) (laughs) You like that music, don't you? It's long, yeah. Uh, I've been watching uh, a lot of football, obviously, and I don't really understand who would want to be a referee. Like, I kind of get some anxiety when I know someone's mad at me. I can't imagine a whole city being mad at me. You know, like, if I was a referee and someone threw a trash can through my windshield uh, and the cops were like, do you have any enemies, sir? And I'd be like, yeah, uh, Houston. (laughs) (laughs) Tony, I used to like to wear my husband's clothes a lot, right? Yes. Uh, I used to like to wear his jeans until one day he came home and said, will you quit wearing my jeans? You're stretching them out. (laughs) I'm not touching anything. (laughs) I said, I know, honey, but just a little bit in the groin. (laughs) (laughs) Shove a sock down there, you'll be fine. This has no bearing on anything, but that's a great joke. <laughs> uh, I recently went out to an Italian restaurant and I ordered pasta with vodka sauce, which kind of made me think like what maniac invented vodka sauce. It almost seems like it should be a mistake, right? Like some booze bag chef was in his kitchen cooking and he's supposed to be sober and his wife catches him and she's like, Anthony, are you drinking again? And he's like, uh, it's for the spaghetti. It's a sauce. <laughs> <laughs> Tony, I love stand up. You do. Nothing I'd rather do than stand up. But you know, it's not always as glamorous as it is here in the podcast. No, I know you don't have th- this big a crowd. No. Once at a show, a heckler yelled out, You suck. No. Thank God my husband was there. He yelled back, Not nearly as much as you might think. My husband's like an underwire bra. He should be supportive, but really he's just irritating. <laughs> that's, that's the end of it. Yeah. I, you know, I have to give Chris, there's always a second one. Yeah. Yeah, I like but she, I, I, I'm in the rhythm now. She, she learned to tap. She yeah, she, she, yeah. Great, yeah, that's nice. It is nice. Yeah. Jake, feel free to do the same. Uh, <laughs> you feel like holding my hand. I'll grab your arm. I'm very, uh, you know, equal opportunity. Uh, I recently found out the valedictorian of my high school class became a priest. So is he really that smart? I think you could take a stab at something else, right? Like in my opinion, him becoming a priest is like Stephen Hawking using all his brain power to prove that like Santa could make it to every house in one night. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's it. Uh, you know, I was a, a, a big fan of Stephen Hawking. You know, because everyone really? would go... Yeah, I. People go. He's the most prolific thinker of all time, and I would say, yeah. But what else did he have to do? <laughs> Tony, you can't make fun of Stephen Hawking. I, I'm just saying he could talk the talk. 
But could he walk the walk? That's all I'm saying. I understand, <laughs> but I'm so disappointed. Uh, 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 <laughs> what? Wait, Stephen Hawking is the one thing we we can't shit on the on this line. show. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, anything else is open. I, it's okay. Yeah, I think I, we shit on Jesus earlier, and you were fine. Yeah, and, but Stephen Hawking, all of a sudden, all right, it's your show. Go ahead. Was Jesus in a wheelchair? I don't believe so. He could walk on water. I rest my I face. I didn't put the guy in the wheelchair. <laughs> I'm just saying those are the facts. I, I'm disappointed. All right. Thank God I'm not in this duel. I wouldn't have won. I didn't know, I didn't know Stephen Hawking was the holy grail around this place. Who won? Tony, we got to draw the line somewhere. All right. It said Stephen Hawking, apparently. That's the line. All People right. should watch this and learn. All right. Well, you know, often I look for, okay, what's the funniest thing that made me go, ha, 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 uh, laugh yeah. the most? Yeah. And, you know, for Jay, I liked that referee thing. Yeah, that was very good. That was, was a clever little, sure. yeah, clever little twist, twist. there. Yeah. I said, wow, yeah. referee thing, funny. Yeah. However. Uh-oh, there's a however in there, Jay. I felt it coming. Never good. Felt well, it coming. Never that, good. that Kristen... Husband's clothes thing. Thing with the crotch and the stretching the it out. Crotch. Yeah. I mean, you, you're a big fan of the crotch. Well, yeah, it's yeah. funny. It's you funny. know, because, well, I don't have to explain no, it. No, you don't. At all. You're a professional. I was until I did the Stephen Hawking joke, apparently. So you, <laughs> you know why it's funny. Yes, I do. It's very funny. So, have you ever say done it that joke on stage? On that joke? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And how did it do? Well, for people who know who Stephen Hawking is, and a lot of places I work, they don't. Uh, but I've done it on stage and had it work. I've been I've been asked to do that joke. Uh, we put that joke in an independent film that I was doing because the director liked it so much. Tony. It's a very good joke. The world is a sick fucking place. <laughs> <laughs> but in spite of wow, that. I've never seen him like the this. The winner is... Kristen. Kristen, nice job. Congratulations. Congrats. Well Thank done. You. Thank you. Jay, you know, these things are often decided on a razor's edge. I don't edge. have a husband, so I Yeah, you, you've got to go out and get a husband. <laughs> All you have is a, is a, a sleeping girlfriend. So She'll be fine. Yeah, you've got you to bump that up a little bit. Thanks again for joining me here on uh, on uh, Dueling Comedians. Thank and you. You'll Thank come you. back. And uh, we'll have another show and have uh, a lot of fun. So listen to us uh, where you can at the Studio 21 podcast on uh, on iTunes and uh, wherever else you find podcasts. I'm Tony V for my buddy Laugh Track Larry. Thanks for listening. We'll talk to you again. The views and opinions expressed by the hosts, guests, or callers of this program do not necessarily reflect the opinions of the Studio 21 Podcast Cafe, the United Podcast Network, its partners or affiliates.